to do mayonnaise today. Um, I don't love mayonnaise. Uh, some people do, but I use it for stuff like sauces and stuff. So I think it's kind of something that's important. So we're going to make it from scratch and see how it goes. And I have a cute baby eating my leg right now. Okay. So I went ahead and got Hellman's and Best Foods and it's like their home style, natural business going on. Um, they are Oh, my, my child is hitting me with a broom now. Okay. They are... Well, let's just check it out. All right, so in the Hellman's, we've got soybean oil, whole eggs, and egg yolks, water, distilled vinegar, salt, sugar, dextrose, lemon juice, concentrate, calcium, disodium, EDTA, for the protection, to protect the quality, if you will. Um, and natural flavors, which we don't know what that means because it can mean a lot of things. Anyway, so it seems sort of kind of naturally. The soybean oil is bad news. I know that. The natural flavors is quite possibly bad news. And the keeping agent or whatever. Okay, so this one says soybean oil, water, whole eggs, and egg yolks, distilled vinegar, salt, sugar, lemon juice concentrate. Same protective qu quality calcium something or other uh and natural flavors again so pretty similar and um so it looks like what we're dealing with is just maybe just some um preservative stuff that we don't want in our mayonnaise so with our ingredients i chose to use this trader joe's olive oil and i've had olive oil mayo before not my fave so i know that you can use other oils but this is just the olive oil that i use at home so that's what we're using and we're gonna get started here uh, we're going to try this mayonnaise, and I don't really know how to try it because I don't like it by itself. Bread. Bread? Cheese. Bread and cheese. Bread and cheese. Okay. We'll use bread and cheese. So, we'll do that after. So, I'm going to use my Emergen, Emergen blender? Immersion blender? I think that's what you call it. Anyway, I have this puppy for a long time. That's, that's not how you put it on. That's for the... <laughs> Art. Anyway, okay. Um, this is uh, Hamilton Beach, and she's good to go. All right, let's get our oil. It's a cup of oil. Obviously, you can double all this, I think, but I probably would only do it this much at a time, a little bit at a time. And I'm just going to use the Himalayan pink salt. It's a lemon and an egg. That's supposed to do the trick. Supposedly, you can do it without the lemon. But they say to do it, if you want it, with a little zing or whatever. I want the lemon because I don't want, I don't want the olive oil taste as much. So I'm going to use the lemon. Also, this does call for a raw egg. So that might be problematic for some people. So I'm going to go for it. And my baby's eating dog food. So I'm going to handle that real quick like. No, no, baby. No, no. <laughs> no, no, baby. We're just going to have to edit this out. Some stucky. Okay. He loves dog food and dog water. <laughs> dog bones. There's a dog. There's a dog pellet right there. Okay. There's one more. There's one more. Go find something else to eat. Like your own foot. Okay. Uh, okay, so here we go. You're supposed to put your egg in first. I don't know why. But there you go. Oil. Salt is sort of, is sort of to taste, which I'm not tasting it, so I'm going to go and feel good about that. And then I'm going to cut this lemon open. And then you can do a tablespoon and a half, I mean a tablespoon or two tablespoons, whatever. I think I'll do a tablespoon. No, there's no creatures in there. Seeds. That looks good to me. All right. Moment of truth. Let's see if this starts to look like mayonnaise. Oh, this part makes me nervous. It makes me nervous too. Oh, it's changing color. It's like 
Super thick in there already. It's yellowy. I think <laughs> it's yellowy, but I think that's because of the olive oil. So it's all mixed in there. That's crazy. That smells a little olive oily. Look at that. That's just like almost exactly. I wonder if it gets thicker if you do it longer or not. Okay. I'm gonna taste it on my finger, which isn't saying much, but we're gonna go for it. I don't hate it, oh. but it's definitely, <laughs> Kayla does not like it. Oh, It's definitely olive oily though. Uh, but I would suggest trying it with a different oil too. That might be fun, or even like an organic soybean oil or anything like that, but we're gonna go for it. Let's practice, nope. Let's try our mayonnaises out, all three of them. I'm gonna smell these, and that might be weird, but I gotta, I gotta smell stuff. That doesn't smell bad at all. That doesn't even smell. And this has a stronger smell because of the olive oil. Okay, this is hard because I don't love mayonnaise anyway. Oops, I should probably clean it when I switch it. Kayla's gonna try these too. And pause it. All right. I have all three mayonnaise, mayonnaises, mayonnaise set up, uh, ready to go. And they're a little bit different in color. Ours is obviously yellowish because of the olive oil. But um, I don't know. These have egg. It must be raw egg in here too, right? Don't know. Okay. First, we'll do the. Hellman's. I hope I'm saying that right. Can you, can you want to take it? Mmm. Really? Mm hmm. But I like mayonnaise, so. I know, but that. I don't taste like a ton of mayonnaise. Like normal mayonnaise taste. Of course, it's everybody's taste buds are different, so there's no way of knowing. All we really need to know is that it works. But it's super easy, right? Like that was super easy. That was crazy how easy that was. And I think you can play with it a little bit. I think you could. Uh oh. This one doesn't even want to eat food and he's trying to grab. Here, have a piece of bread. See how that treats you. All right, so the next is the best foods. You want best foods on yours? No. Mmm. That one was even better. <laughs> mm -hmm. I just realized I opened two ginormous things of mayonnaise. <laughs> We're going to make a lot of sauces and a lot of dips. Because I just realized I did that. <laughs> oh, well. All right. <clears throat> never that That's actually good. If it's not just plain mayonnaise that I'm eating, I don't mind mayonnaise. That was pretty good. Okay, my lady. Homemade. Here's yours. I don't hate it. Oh, yeah. That's actually pretty good with things. I like yeah. it. Sorry, I'm eating food in my mouth. What do you think? Just a toy? Sounds good. Yeah, so all three are good. One has no preservatives. The others do. This is supposed to last about two weeks in your refrigerator. I'm, I'm feeling good about that. So I wonder though what it would taste like when you make sauces or dressings and stuff like that. I imagine that it transfers over pretty well. So that was our video on mayonnaise. I say yes. I say homemade your mayonnaise. Do it. Bye. Hey everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Before you leave, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to me and my family's channel. Ew.